Hey, I'm Bill Marion on Cherahalla Skyway in North Carolina, and this is A Nose for Life. A 43-mile national scenic highway from Teleco Plains, Tennessee to Robbinsville, North Carolina. Yes, I'm talking about Cherahalla Skyway, an amazing scenic byway here in the Appalachian Mountains, and it's absolutely amazing. Ridge after ridge of lush, forested mountainside with sweeping mountains that seem to go on for miles and miles. If you've been on the Cherahalla Skyway, you're probably loving this video, but almost wishing people wouldn't make videos about it because it's one of the best kept secrets in the Appalachian Mountains. But word is getting out quickly. This scenic highway is shared by Tennessee and North Carolina, and it's not as old as the Blue Ridge Parkway or Skyline Drive, or as young as the Foothills Parkway. In 1958, people in the region began talking about needing a road for automobiles that connects the mountains of Western North Carolina with the mountains of East Tennessee. Until then, the only roads between these two regions were for covered wagons. A man by the name of Sam Williams suggested that some folks organize a wagon train to raise awareness for a mountain road. So they did. On July 4, 1958, 67 covered wagons and a few hundred people on horseback rode through mountain towns in both North Carolina and Tennessee, stirring up interest in a mountain road connecting the two states. This wagon train attracted some media attention. And where there's media attention, there's political attention. Plans for the actual route changed year after year, but by 1960, it was decided that the road would connect Teleco Plains to Robbinsville, North Carolina. Getting this underway wasn't that difficult. In fact, just a few years later, it was determined that the road would be built through Cherokee National Forest in Tennessee and the Nantahala Forest in North Carolina. And all it took was a wagon train. Well, not so fast. See, roads cost money, in case you didn't know. And getting the government to keep coughing up the money to finish the road took a while. A few decades, in fact. The Skyway cost $100 million to complete. But if you consider when the project began and ended and other factors, well, it probably cost a little more. So let's talk about the name, Cherahalla. Cherahalla is a mashup of two national forests, one on the Tennessee side, one on the North Carolina side. On the Tennessee side, it's the Cherokee National Forest. And then on the North Carolina side, it's the Nantahala National Forest. And you mash those names together and you get Cherahalla. So Virginia already has the Skyline Drive. So Cherahalla is called the Cherahalla Skyway. Here on the Cherahalla Skyway, it's just now 9 a.m. in the morning, so traffic is beginning to increase. The first hour or so, we were up here from Teleco Plains, getting down Cherahalla Skyway, getting up here to the North Carolina line. We saw two cars and a couple of motorcycles, that's it. The Skyway is well known in motorcycling and sports car circles for its long corners, scenic views, and cool summer breezes. And from the Skyway, you can connect to the Tail of the Dragon, one of the world's most famous motorcycle routes. In fact, if you're in a motorcycle community anywhere east of the Mississippi and you haven't heard of the Tail of the Dragon or the Cherahalla Skyway, well, you might want to give up your cool card because this is a place for motorcycles. But this video isn't about the Tail of the Dragon, it's about the Cherahalla Skyway, which is also really popular for motorcycles. All right, so you're sold. You're ready to take a trip on Cherahalla Skyway because, hey, you've been to the Blue Ridge Parkway, you liked it, and so you wanna give this a try. Sounds great, right? Well, let me give you a little heads up, a little no before you go. When it comes to motorcycles, well, it's a thing here. You're gonna have a lot of motorcycle traffic, and sometimes they like to go faster than you do.
And so if you're used to the Blue Ridge Parkway, you know, kind of doing your thing, 35 miles an hour, enjoying the scenery, looking for bear and whatnot, when you come to Chairhouse Skyway or Tail of the Dragon, it's probably a good idea just to accept that motorcycles are gonna zip past you at the speed of light, like literally. In fact, I would just go ahead and get over for them if you are a motorcycle enthusiast and you have a motorcycle, well, hey, this is the place you wanna be. I'm, I'm telling you, it doesn't get any better than this. I think we've already passed since nine o'clock this morning, probably a hundred plus motorcycles. People come from all over the world to ride their bikes on the Chair House Skyway. It's just a fact, it's just what people do. The Cherahau Skyway is also significant in that it follows the crest of the Unicoi Mountains, the mountain range between Tennessee and North Carolina. Now, the Unicoi Mountains are a part of the Blue Ridge Mountains and the greater southern Appalachian mountain chain. These mountains will remind you of the Smoky Mountains. There are a few small differences, but notably, the Unicoi Mountains are the most primitive, underdeveloped areas in the eastern United States. On the Cherahau Skyway, you won't see cabins in small towns or cities in the valley below. In fact, you don't see a lot of civilization at all, which is why I love it, so I guess I'm antisocial. See, during the logging boom of the 19th and early 20th century, this region wasn't logged as much as other regions in the Appalachian Mountains. In fact, there's a pretty interesting forest just outside Robbinsville. Now here's something you probably didn't know. Outside of the Amazon Basin, this is one of the most ecologically diverse areas in the world. I didn't even know that. that that's worth a Google, check it out. Ecologically diverse, supremo, it's a big deal. Most of the time you're wrapping around the Unicoi Mountains and they're absolutely sensational. Now you've got the North Carolina side and you've got the Tennessee side. The focal point on the Tennessee side, at least in my opinion, has to be the Tellico River. Amazing fishing, wonderful, wonderful hiking trails. Some of the best hiking trails in, in this area, in the Appalachian Mountains. That being said, when you're really looking forward to that Blue Ridge Parkway kind of feeling, and some places even better, you've got to go to the North Carolina side over 5,200 feet, and it's a big junction. like to point out restroom opportunities on a parkway or any type of stretch of road where well you know restrooms are few and far between there are a handful of restrooms along the chair Hallis skyway and these are typical national park state park kind of restrooms they're not great but hey it's somewhere to do business right but i'll tell you what we're not lacking at all on the chair Hallis skyway picnic tables This is a fantastic place to bring the whole family and enjoy a picnic. One of our favorite memories was our snow picnic up here on Cherahau Skyway. I mean, I know it looks snowy and we're on a mountain and we're about to increase our elevation big time, but there's a lot of traffic up there. A lot of people doing the same thing we're doing, probably not making a YouTube video, but they're up here filming. I mean, it's just awesome. In fact, I've said this before, our favorite time of year to be on Chair House Skyway is the winter. So it's a great place to come in the winter time and snow enthusiasts, man, they'll come up here just to see snow. Cause I mean, listen, it doesn't snow a lot in Southeast Tennessee, but it does in the higher elevations. So you'll see everybody with a four wheel drive pickup truck in the winter time, if there's snow, head up this way to see good snow on Chair House Skyway.
You hear me say this all the time on the Blue Ridge Parkway. I said it on the Foothills Parkway as well, but I love the architecture of the Blue Ridge Parkway. I talk about Stanley Abbott all the time, who was the chief landscaping architect for the Blue Ridge Parkway, but that had so much influence on the Foothills Parkway and of course, Cherahalla and other parkways on the East Coast. It's pretty awesome. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the like and subscribe button. My name is Bill Marion, and this is A Nose for Life. Hey, while you're here, check out some of these other videos.